Hi, this is Video Technology Manager and Specialist Luis Sierra, and I'm going to speak about Erico 36. Now, I want to mention that my specialty is video technology and video editing. So I'm in the media space, but I believe you may encounter this error code uh, in just about any program because it's an error code, obviously, in, um, in a drive, in the OS. So it has nothing to do with video itself. But uh, just uh, keep in mind that the files that I'm going to be showing here is going to be regarding video content or video production, per se, or post-production. Uh, management. Some of you may get a card from your camera and you may want to take the contents and put them to a drive. And you may get an error message saying that the file can't complete the operation and then you'll see error code 36. I have selected different drives to show you, you know, just to make sure that it's my, not my drive. So I attempted to put that to the desktop. I'm going to try to put this into a RAID. I get the same error code, 36. And I'll go ahead and just one more try, put it to another drive and see if that's uh, any good. Now, the reason for I say this is because sometimes they have the, um, the drives may not have permissions to them or whatever the case is. So just to make sure that's not the case, you know, you may want to get information on your drive. Uh, but here's a way to get around it. Select a drive. Create a new folder, and there, make sure you name that exactly the same as the folder of your card. So in this case, it's contents, and I'll go ahead and select on there. Open that folder up. And once you open it up, go ahead and take a look at the contents. Now here we have clips of zero run. And then in the new folder, open that up and you go create a new folder there. Name that clips 001 or whatever the name is on your particular folder. Once you select on there, open up the original folder and take a look at the contents. Now you'll see these here and I'll open up the new folder and then take one at a time, so one folder at a time, and drag it in. Most likely you will see that they start coming in without a problem. Now, you may be wondering why did it give me the error code when I try to bring in the whole contents folder or the whole uh, folder itself. There may very well be corruption in one of the folders. Usually it's the very last folder. In this case, it is. Um, the last folder had, I believe, two MXF files inside of it, and that's a no-no. So usually when you have several files um, being selected for one other file, so for example, if it has MXF files and they're going to the same uh, CIF file or any other file that is, um, that is being referenced to those uh, files, it'll create corruption. Sometimes when you try to play it inside your editing program, um, you will see that you will have uh, two audios playing at the same time or the videos don't play correctly, whatever the case is. So be mindful of that as well. So error code 36 does not just pertain to uh, Digital media, which is what I'm, I'm speaking about here. I usually talk about digital media. I'm an editor and a video technology specialist. So I deal with video, but it may be any kind of folder where you're trying to create, get it from a drive or something into another drive and you may get this error message. So I always try to see if there is something going on with your uh, files inside the folder and you will most likely find out that once you open that up, you'll have uh, your answer and you'll be able to successfully uh, bring in all your footage at one time and no more error code and you can obtain your 
files and go ahead and use them as you originally intended to. And that's how you go about resolving the issue of error code 36 on the Mac OS. If you'd like to see more of these videos, visit VideoEditSolutions.com or you can subscribe here to the YouTube channel for Making the Real. Thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful.